What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video with your girl, Pamela Janani. Welcome back to another video with your girl, Pamela, okay? So, guys, I love you so much, all right? Um, I want to go ahead and say that I want to hop right into this topic because this topic is so... Mom! Yeah. Huh? What do you want to do? I'll wait till I'm finished and I'll let you play, okay? Okay, What? Not yet. Can you come close my door a little bit? Not all the way because there's a cord um, out the... Okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay, so guys, this video is important to me because, like, your girl has been through a lot with family, okay? I love people, all right? I go out... I can go out today. I go out tomorrow and I'm going to speak to people. And if you got, you know, if you're side-eyeing me, if you don't like it, then that's too bad. I never take on people's energy anymore, okay? I used to be that, that girl, that woman to, to truly feel hurt because someone doesn't like me. And I always wonder why they don't like me. What am I doing wrong? I was that girl. I am no longer that, that girl. And when it did change and click in me is when I got pregnant with my daughter. When I became a mom is when I became a beast, okay? And then as I grew older, okay, and then I had my son, I became a bigger beast, okay? And once I got aligned with God, which is, which is probably in the past year or two, that is when I truly became, um, I became connected to beast mode, okay? That is when um, everything that God has placed inside of me began to, to kick in, all right? And a lot of the times our family is the root of our problem. Our family is the root of, 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 of how we are, okay? And what we're doing and the chaos that we have around us. Our family is, is important, okay? But our family also can be toxic, okay? And sometimes, guys, sometimes we have to walk away from the people that we always knew. And sometimes that could be your mom, that can be your dad, and it doesn't have to be permanent, okay? But in order for us to grow, in order for us to break something, okay, that is trying to hold us down, we got to temporarily or permanently stand up for ourselves and separate ourselves from the wicked, our family, okay? Let's keep going here. We grow up with these people. We learn from these people, all right? They are blood, so we are automatically told to love and protect them, that we are obligated to these people. This is what is just a known fact. If it's your mom, if it's your dad, sister, brother, cousin, they're your blood. No matter what they do to you, you got to love and protect them. No matter what they do. This is why, let me just say this. This is a trigger warning. This is why there's a lot of families, okay, who has had molestation in their family, okay? Someone did something. Someone touched someone. Someone raped someone. Someone did something. And I, and I feel like crying about saying that, okay? Because it's no joke. Something has happened. Okay, in this family, and because you're told that you got to protect in your family and love your family, the kid says nothing. They say nothing that uncle did this, that 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 auntie did this. They say nothing because we are told to protect our family no matter what, and that is wrong. That is wrong. That is toxic. That is a generational curse, and 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 it's disgusting. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, wrong, wrong or right, okay, we are, to, let me just keep going. Love is telling um, anyone if they are right or wrong, okay? Love is telling them to that, and a lot of people don't, okay? A lot of families, they just say, oh, you know what? They're my son, they're my daughter, they're my sister, so you know what? Whatever you do, okay, I support you. That is wrong. That is, that is not something that God wants you to do. If you love someone, you're going to tell them what the deal is. Do you understand what truly is the deal so that they can heal, grow, learn, and never do it again, right? That's love, right? Not doing so continues a cycle of curses, of curses, okay? Family can misguide you. They can hate on you. They can judge you, okay? More than the people who are non-blood. And it's sad, but it's true. They can be jealous, and because they know you will listen to them because they are connected to you, because they are mommy, because they are daddy, because they are sister. They know that you will listen because you are what? Obligated. By, by law, by law being born into this family, you're obligated to love and protect them even if they do wicked things. And that is wrong, okay? That is something that I'm not teaching my kids to do. I am not teaching my kids to be silent. I'm not teaching my kids to be biased. If you see me, or if you see someone doing something wrong, it hurts you, it makes you sad, they're doing something to someone else, speak up. 
I am not going to have any change, uh, change, generational curses attached to my body, my mind, and my soul, let alone my children. I chose to break the chains, okay? I chose to walk away from people that I truly love, that I still love to this day. I chose to walk away from them. I could have sat with them. I could have been fake. I could have knew that they didn't like me. I could have known that they wanted to hold me down just as they felt and were hold, held down. But I chose to walk away. I chose to stand up for me and my kids and walk away. And you can either see the light that I'm, that I'm leaving behind me and you can come with me or you can still hate on me, okay, and, and, and lie on me and, and, and not like me. And I'm going to be okay because I'm living in God's light. And a lot of these people will say, I love God. I'm this and God, this and God. You don't have one ounce of God inside of you. If you are condoning toxic ways, if you are condoning um, chains to be ta hold, holding you down, holding your kids down, holding, you know, the your future bloodline down. Okay. So if you got to make a change and you're feeling it in your heart that you are supposed to make a change, break free from these curses that your family, yes, your family is trying to hold you down with. Right. And a lot of these family members, they know that they're trying to keep you in this toxic environment so that you can end up like them. I don't care how much money they have. I don't care what kind of car they have. Your mental. OK, your spiritual is more important than a flashy car, than a name brand, Michael Kors, Gucci, Prada. That's that's nothing. OK, but your mental and your bloodline, your children, your grandchildren, that is important. And when you do not stand up for what is right in these families, that is when you are just continuing the cycle of darkness. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, and this is a powerful message that I want you guys to please share and circulate, give thumbs up so that so many people out there can get this message. There's a lot of people who are holding on to toxic family members because they're family members, because they're blood. When demons get inside of anybody, Satan can use anybody to take you down. Satan can use any he, your, anybody. And he uses the people that are close to us, our family, because he knows that they're an influence. He knows that we're obligated, right? So he will use them to hold us down. He will use them to break us down. He will use them for a lot of things, okay? And that is why it is so important to understand that people are people. Absolutely, okay? People will hurt you whether they're blood or not. It's actions that, that really, truly plays a factor, okay? And discernment from us, all right? Um, let's see here. Blood is blood, but so is toxic, okay? You can't validate toxic, and a lot of us, we're taught to validate toxic, all right? And I'll keep going with that. No excuses, okay? We have to drop it, okay? We have to drop these toxic people. Sometimes we have to stand up for ourselves and drop people we love. I said that before, right? If they want to listen or change, that is great. But if they don't, there's nothing we can do. Satan knows that it's true how, Satan knows how to hurt us. I said before, I already said that. Generational curses, trauma is passed on, guys, okay? It's passed on. Let's keep going here. Um, and it's passed on down to make it look normal, all right? This is why this is a big problem because these generational curses and this trauma is passed on to kids, passed on to people, passed on, and it's taught. we're taught that it's normal, all right? We're taught that, you know, mommy, daddy, you know, it's normal because it happened to Jody. It happened to, um, you know, our generation before. It happened, okay? So, you know, it's going to happen to you, probably your kids. It's nothing, right? A big fat sly. It is everything, okay? Let's keep going here with the message, all right? Mommy, daddy knew, okay? A lot of these people, they know it's wrong. They knew that it was wrong, but they still encourage you to take the same path that they took. They still encourage you and give you this broken advice when they know that their home, their home, their heart, their marriage is broken, but they're giving you advice, okay? The same broken advice that did not work out for them is what they're encouraging on to you, all right? And this is something that we have to be mindful of, all right? Let's keep going here. This video was kind of long, but I'm like, God, you know, I wrote it with God and I got to do what I got to do, right? Um, They're wanting you to walk down that same road that they did, okay? The same path that's toxic and not love, all right? Sometimes we must break free and possibly, possibly show these people how to truly, truly heal by being an example, okay? And it's going to be hard to walk away from people you love, but sometimes we got to do it, especially if you not only want to save yourself, your kids, but them. Do you understand? It's up to people to look at you as a light of God and, and change, or if they don't, then that's, that's, that's something that you have to understand that it has nothing to do with you, all right? 
um, by leaving, you are a physical example, okay? And you are also protected by God, okay? Do not think that you're going to lose these family members, that you're going to be lonely. You're not. God has a lot of people out there, and God himself is going to love you and protect you, okay? I promise you, right? Um, family should not be toxic, okay? It should not be um, a big disappointment, okay? It should not be these things that people say, oh, it's normal. Oh, families are dysfunctional. Families lie. Families cheat. Families do this. They do not. It's normal because of people telling us it's normal, okay? Being beaten is normal, but it happens in a lot of generations because people say, stay in that marriage. You're not happy, but stay in that marriage, okay? You, who needs happiness? Um, you know, mommy and daddy's not happy in our marriage, but, you know, you got to stand, stand the test of times. No, no, and no. Let's keep going here. Um, instead, instead of staying and living a passed down curse, okay, um, many of you are, are generational curse breakers. Many of you are truly generational curse breakers. And many of you are afraid to also disappoint your family. Okay. And I want you to understand that family is supposed to love you, give you the truth. Okay. And, and, and definitely support you and stick by your side. Absolutely. Okay. Family is not supposed to, um, be hurtful, toxic and, and gossip and lie and slander. You are not supposed to be afraid of your family. Okay. And if you are, that's a big red flag. All right. Family should not be toxic. I already said that. Um, yet again, we are told that this is normal and it's not, okay? It stops with someone who is ready to make change. It stops It stops with somebody, all right? And that someone may be you, right? Take it as it resonates, okay? Um, nothing runs in the family. And I know that people say, oh, this disease runs in the family. So you know what? You may get it this time around. Um, this runs in the family. Uh, this run, drugs run in the family. No, stop saying things run in the family. Stop. Stop saying things run in the family. I do not like to hear that. It's like, what? Do you understand that God can heal any and all? Stop saying things run in your family. Stop speaking that into your life. And if someone is trying to speak that into your life, tune them out. Stop hanging around them. They need to change their mindset. Do not allow these toxic people, okay, who are who are not trying to fight and get these chains off to talk to make you tainted. All right, you deserve a lot better than that. All right, um, God and godly people will never tell you to do something wrong. Okay, if you're around someone and they're telling you to do something wrong and you know that it's wrong, but they're telling you saying that I love you, you know what? So you gotta do this. All right, do this, and you know it's wrong. You got to understand that God is telling me I am not in them. I am not in anyone who tells someone to do something that I would not say. And now all of us know what God would or would not say. We all know, but we tune them out because we are afraid to um, know the truth or we are afraid to go against people that we love, that we are obligated to. Okay, you are to be obligated to God because when you die, when all of us die, when it's our time to meet God face to face. What are you going to say? My family told me to, so I did this. No, you are going to say, I did this because that is what you did. You did this, okay? You can't put anything on your family because you're facing God now. Your family is not going to be facing God with you. We're doing this individually. Do you understand? I want you guys, if you're watching this and you know that you need to break the curses of off you and your children, do so. You are protected, you are healed, and so much more, okay? Let's keep going here. Um, just because you are blood doesn't mean that you have to hold on to them. Okay. It doesn't mean that you have to hold on to someone because the devil lives inside of anybody that will allow him to family, friends, coworkers, the devil can obtain anybody's body, mind, and soul if they allow them to. Okay. That is it guys. That is it for this video. I love you so much. It's okay to be that generational curse breaker. It's not going to feel good at the moment because you love people and we love hard. But I guarantee you that in order for you to truly live a life that you deserve, you have to break the curses. You have to stop allowing toxic family members, okay? People who are filled with, um, you know, demons, okay? To make you feel like you are um, wrong for wanting to step outside of the box, all right? I love you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe to your girl's channel. Give me a thumbs up and definitely share this word of God, okay? Love and light, bye.